Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Uh, good afternoon to all of our distinguished guests. Welcome to webinar session of the Higher Education Virtual Expo. Um, today, there will be two videos shown from uh, Laksmana College, um, one from Culinary School and the other from Com Computing School of Laksmana College. So the topics will be on um, introduction to the Culinary School by Chef Luke McCann, Head of Culinary School, and the other one would be on why do a computing course in LCB by Mr. Peter Shannon, program leader of uh, LCB. There will be a 10 minute session for question and answer at the end of this session, uh, which both Chef Luke McCann and Mr. Peter Shannon will answer. So if you have any questions, uh, you can type them at the chat area and they will try their best to answer your questions at the end of the session. Culinary School by Luxembourg College of Business has been operating since March 2019. The school is delivering London City and Guild's culinary programs at diploma and advanced diploma levels. Our objective is to prepare Brunei's next generation of young chefs for a career in the hospitality industry. We pride ourselves in teaching best practice and professionalism. We engage our students at every opportunity to practice and develop their skills and to always be aware of the need for constant personal development. All the programs are practical based. It's also a significant portion of theory which is needed to bring conceptual understanding and to further embed the many skills and techniques chefs are required to learn. Our starting point is introducing knife skills and food safety and hygiene. From there we teach the 13 main cooking methods, then segue into the main food groups such as poultry, meat, offal, vegetables, seafood, starches, pulses. Kitchens are three-dimensional places. Cooking involves controlling temperatures, processing food items to the achieved desired uh, shape, and to and so to enable each of the recipe stages to fit and build into the next step. Time management and prioritizing tasks is crucial to achieving a top quality product in a timely fashion. Chemistry, physics, communication, mathematics, multitasking and problem solving are part of, the, of an everyday's experience for a chef. We encourage all of our students to take part in paid employment or industry attachments. I believe paid work is more effective in developing our students as they are, they are given greater responsibility to perform and also there is a consequence the required level is not being met. We have gained an excellent reputation from the industry already. Our students are getting jobs as soon as they complete their studies. Most students, I should say. On completion, our students will be at what I call a commie chef level, which is a junior chef that can be, with guidance, maintain a section and a kitchen. My opinion is it takes five years to gain essential knowledge and practice most of the range of skills needed to become a well-rounded chef. After 10 years, most chefs are developing their own style and personalities. After 15 years, you can teach, you can reach senior chef status and should be able to maintain a team of most, and, and most importantly, get the best out of them. After 30 years of hard work and constant focus on self-development and, ga and gaining new skills, it's possible to call yourself a master chef. That's what I have to say about our, the our time at the culinary school. I hope you come and join us and please contact us if you have any questions, queries, Hello there, welcome to the Culinary School. My name is Luke Cairn, I'm the head of the department here. Um, I'm the captain of the ship, so to speak, and I helped develop and build this facility. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Uh, we also do a field trip, so we go to the fish market, we go to organic farms, we go around the place. I always like to to the importance of you know how important ingredients are. You know, minimizing wastage in terms of food, in terms of energy, in terms of labor are always quintessential uh, elements to maintaining a uh, efficient Hello everyone, my name is Ademani, one of the instructors here at the Culinary School. The Culinary School teaches theory alongside practical and the things the students have learned during theory classes will be put into practice during their practical classes. From all theory classes most of the time, it will be conducted at one or many lecture halls here and at Samana College of Business. While practical classes will be conducted at the Culinary School's industrial kitchen, which consists of production area, hot kitchen, demo kitchen, dry pantry, and dishwashing area, which can accommodate up to 15 students. This smaller scale of an industrial kitchen is to prepare and train the students for the food and beverage industry. We also encourage students to join extracurricular activities during their free time here at Asamana College of Business. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Bernard Blancha and I am one of the instructors here in the school that teaches customer service. Not only we teach the students to be good in the kitchen, they also need to learn how to interact with the customers. So customer service comes in all shapes and forms. So and we need the students to be able to adapt. By doing so, we at the culinary school have provided a practice shift that teaches the student to be punctual when it comes to shirts. Not only that, the students are able to shut up their skills both front and also back in the house. So together with additional knowledge as well, for me as instructor here, I am able to teach the students to be punctual. So as you can see, we have a coffee machine. So from there on, the students will also have extra knowledge and skill sets my name is Amma Flama and I am a student here at the school. I did my level one certificate back in 2019 and just finished my level two diploma. I plan to apply again for the level three and class diploma. As all my time here, I really enjoy studying about cooking, learning new skills, and gaining new experience. The lecturer has been really helpful and most understanding. And I have learned a lot from them. Culinary school has given me a chance to work in hotel and I did my freshman and citizen for three months. Overall, it has been a amazing experience for my culinary school. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, my explanation, a brief explanation about culinary school and The next uh, video will be on Why do a computing course in LCB by Mr. Peter Shannon, program leader of Laxmana. Welcome to our presentation for computing and IT at LCP. My name is Peter, and I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. 
I'm program leader for the Chester Accident Prevention Software Engineering and Applied Education. Sorry we can't see you at Wyatt this year, but we understand the requirements for social distancing and we are grateful for how effectively we might manage the pandemic. In that spirit, we do hope you will find this webinar informative and useful, and we look forward to when we can see you again at RIDEX in person. We'll begin our presentation with a little general information about LCD, then explain how LCD works with its education partners, introduce the different types and levels of programs and how these educational programs provide a pathway to achieve whichever levels of attainment you want, and finally, some hows and why you might like to attend the LCD. I'll go through some of the first slides a bit quickly, as we don't have too much time, and Mr. Simon Keenan will come and cover some of this again in a bit more detail. I would, though, like you to take away a couple of things from this slide. Firstly, LCB is a joint venture between Abdul Razak Holdings and Kensington College of Business. Secondly, we have a 20 year history of helping Indians achieve their goals academically and lots of growth into new areas and academic levels. As an organization, we get a lot of our structure, our DNA, in KCB one of our founding partners. KCB was established 20 years earlier than LCB, and it too has relationships with many of our education partners, including the University of Chester. KCB was the foundation for much of our success and continues to be important in LCB's future. We won't linger on this slide, but we would like you to know that we take accreditation very seriously, and that our programs are all accredited by the appropriate bodies and recognized in Brunei by the government and employers and throughout the world. One final quick stop. I would like to show you some of the many educational partnerships we have set up over the years. Some of these partnerships facilitate our students studying their first year in Brunei and then completing their degrees in the UK. Others have granted us the right to teach and assess our partners' program here in Brunei. At the top of this slide, we have, we have our primary partners, KCB, the University of Chester, Pearson and Tech, and the City of Wales. Now, on to the important stuff. I'm going to try and convince you that you should learn about computers. There are obvious reasons, like well-paid careers in the government and private sectors, to the less obvious, which I'm going to focus on now for a moment. Computers and networks impact on our daily lives when we use the company. The speed of change in technology is obvious to all. Less obvious, but perhaps maybe more significant, are the changes to society which steadily accrue. For example, how communication is done and acceptable modes of communication. When I was a boy, nobody would call on the telephone after 9.30 in the evening without a very good reason. Now, by contrast, the idea of it being rude to send a message when you call after 9.30 during dinner time is disappearing or gone already. And this is just one example of changes to expectations people have today because of technology. Another is how technology has eroded our work life balance. We've all experienced receiving a WhatsApp later by asking us to complete a work task for the following day. This change is obviously negative, but that isn't the point. The point is that technology has the power to change, and being part of that change will confer benefits. Being able to adapt to structural changes in the economy, in the job market, and hopefully a better standard of living. People, so it seems, 
and an insatiable appetite for new technology. Brunei is not exempt from these changes. It has one of the fastest growing markets for mobile phone technology in the world, especially so during the rollouts of first and second generations of mobile phone networks. Economic activity created with the use of the new technology grows all the time. These accumulated changes will make the digital revolution of the 1990s look like little more than a watershed moment, marking the beginning of change rather than a sea change in and of itself. More and more jobs in the future will be based on using technology to achieve an end, and high levels of general computer skills, such as programming, database design, user interface design, and so on, will become vital to many careers considered up until now unrelated to computing. This comic strip is about robots taking our jobs, which may or may not be a real concern. Nobody knows what the true impact of machine learning and artificial intelligence will be, and how future employment will be affected. It is clear, though, that more and more tasks will be assisted by AI or even fully automated. Of course, part of your consideration when choosing which degree to study is what job will you be to the most extent and its future group. These certainly will include specialists in computers who create new AI and in creative jobs which are hard to automate. Having a strong background in computing makes sense for these and many other reasons. We'll take a look some details of our computer program in a moment. First, let's see what we offer from our partners. From KCB, we have programs related to business, and from Pearson BTEC, we also have business and hospitality and computing programs. From City of Guilds, we have two programs related to cooking. And finally, from the University of Chester, a variety of business and computer science, bachelor's and master's degrees. The Pearson's BTEC and City of Guild programs differ in emphasis from most school and university programs in that they offer vocational learning at different levels. And BTEC are equivalent to O levels, A levels, and degrees at the different levels of BTEC. BTEX can be taken either to access better career opportunities or as a pathway to a university degree. With sufficient O level credits, you can start a one and a half year diploma, or failing that, a one year certificate. With a diploma in IT, you can apply for entry level jobs or start an HMD or degree at the University of Chester. With an HMD, you will open up more career opportunities and be able to apply to government universities or enter the second year of a degree from the University of Chester. Our three levels of BTEX teach a variety of the most important and practical skills necessary as foundations for entry level careers in the case of diploma to more sophisticated skills and knowledge in the case of an HMD, including communication skills, operating systems, databases, programming, user interface design, website design, and many other practical useful topics. These programs are recognized by the private sector and government as a substantial attainment and can afford our students access to coveted employment opportunities. Indeed, an HMD is recognized as valid for direct entry into the second year of degree programs, including our Chester degree programs. We have three computing and bachelor of science degrees from the University of Chester. These include computer science, software engineering, and applied computing. Chester's programs give students a gateway from being an outsider who will understand little of the most fundamental aspects of common technology, to being an insider who can communicate and discuss 
everyday issues computing professionals face and make valuable contributions to a team as they grow in experience, knowledge, and skills. Like the BTEC program, Chester's provide fun the fundamentals for success with a focus on practical skills backed up by solid theory. Our Chester computing students will learn very quickly how to program in Java, create databases, design websites, and much more. In our final year, each student will undertake a substantial project with the support of a dedicated lecturer to help them maximize their potential. In the last year, our programs have been updated to make them even more relevant to the needs of our students and design. Adding modules on Android programming with Kotlin, iOS programming with Swift, and machine learning and artificial intelligence. This year, in February, we will be offering three new master's programs in international finance, management, and advanced computer science. Over the years to come, we hope to see many Green Irons take this opportunity to improve themselves more and more as competition for sought-after employment has grown. Job seekers have elevated their profile by taking a year to learn a new qualification. Humanities graduates have any difficulty using their first degree to find a job, cross-train, to earn qualifications in more marketing fields. Computing graduates refresh their degree and their potential to complete complex projects and upgrade their knowledge. Whatever the reason, the master's degree is becoming seen not as a bridge to a doctorate in every case, but as a practical requirement to land that lucrative and coveted position. The University of Chester Master's Degree in Advanced Computer Science is taught over one calendar year, unlike some of the master's degrees in Green Island, which take 18 months. It follows the typical UK format of two taught semesters and a third in which a thesis is developed. The taught topics include user experience, algorithms, virtual environments, and the hot topics of pen testing for computer security and biologically inspired computing, which includes machine learning and artificial intelligence. Some of you, some of you, particularly those from Koala Alliance, will be happy to hear we have excellent and affordable accommodation for students who want to stay close by in the same building. Student rooms are on the fourth floor and provide very convenient access to the college, restaurants, and shops. Students will also have breakfast provided at Tunnel School Cafe every day. Finally, we would like everybody to know that central to our aims approach of thinking is to support His Majesty's vision RSN 2035 by helping the Lions achieve higher levels of education. Thank you so much for lending me your ear for your time. If you have any questions, I'll be here to answer them for you in a moment. Thanks again. Okay. That is the end of the video. We will now open the session for, for question and answers. Hello. Hello, Mr. Peter. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, I'm good. How are you? Very good, thank you. Okay, we have uh, one question. Uh, okay. um, uh, sorry, yeah. uh, let me just uh, say this to everyone for the attendees. Uh, you can put your questions in the in the chat area, and Mr. Peters will help will will answer your question. Uh, we have one question from Azlin Sabtu. Uh, he asked, "How much is the fee for the hostel?" 
Um, <laughs> okay, I've just been told three fifty to four fifty. Three hundred and fifty dollars to four hundred and fifty. Uh, okay. Um, there's also an ask uh, a question. Um, is there a scholarship for LCB, and if so, for what program? We have scholarships for all of our programs. Um, people can apply to uh, have a scholarship if they come in and speak to uh, admin or reception, then we'll give them the details about how they can go about um, applying for it. Uh, so they can just uh, go straight to you or? Yeah, they can come and see me or, or um, and, and I'll, I'll take them down and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get some, some information for them. Um, but it, it, it's on an ad hoc basis. We'll look at students as they come in and uh, if they if they meet our requirements, then uh, we'll offer them a scholarship. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any more questions? You can post it at the chat area. Let me just in introduce my colleague. This is Luke, who runs the Heads Up the Culinary School. Hello, I'm Luke, Luke McCann, head, head of the Culinary School. So we, we're right beside the main campus. We have a, a sort of a, a practice training kitchen and restaurant area, and we, we teach people how to cook. So if there's any questions relate, relating to that program, I'm happy to uh, ask. Yeah, you've got a fantastic couple of programs running there and your, your facilities really are really good, right? We do, they are. We're, we're blessed, we're very lucky. Um, we're doing, we're currently presenting the London City and Guilds uh, Diploma and Advanced Diploma in, in Cooking, culinary, culinary Arts and Food Preparation. Uh, the diploma is one year, full time, uh, two semesters. Uh, it's, we, there's no prerequisite. We, we just need a, a, a good level of English with all the students and they need to be somewhat competent. Um, it's actually a very challenging course and there's a lot of both soft and hard skills that are you know, you, you, you take on board as, as you develop as a chef. So um, we, the diploma is designed for people with no previous experience. So we'll, we start with how to use a knife, uh, then we use, uh, do food safety and hygiene, and then we teach you all the different cooking methods. There's 12, 13 different cooking methods. So, and lots of different types of food. So you can imagine the, uh, the, um, the, the possibilities that you can be called upon when you become a decent cook. So it's our objective to pre prepare our students for in the industry in Brunei and hopefully beyond. So after you finished our diploma, you could, you should be able to go to most different places and apply for a job as a junior chef or a commie chef. And with some, uh, with some uh, guidance, you, you should be able to, um, to, to work. So uh, we also we also do the advanced diploma. So if you, if you finish the diploma and you want, you're still hungry for, for more knowledge, we can take you up to the to the next level. And um, we've also very exciting uh, news have been recently given uh, a budget to build a new a new premises. So our school's awesome, um, but we've uh, fortunately or unfortunately outgrown it a little bit. So we've got a bit of a um, uh, uh, a, a good problem and that we have probably more people than we can take. So anyway, we've been, we've been in a fortunate position to be planning a new school. When we do that, we're going to add a diploma in pastry, uh, a diploma in restaurant service, and eventually a degree, a culinary management degree. So exciting stuff. Yeah, and, and let me add, if any of you are interested in knowing more, I would like to come and have a chat. Just come on down to the culinary school or we'll come and see us and talk to us about computing. And we'll always make time for you to um, find out whatever you need to know and help you uh, make whatever decision you're you're looking to make. Michelle, we don't have the hostel costs this thing for a week or ah, we'll be time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, do you have anything more to add? Um, uh, I think I think we said everything in our videos, but um, if you've got any questions for us, we'd, we'd be yeah. happy to take those. Okay. Um, all right. Thank you to our panel. Um, and thank you all for joining our 
webinar session for the Higher Education Expo 2021. If you have any inquiries or any questions, you can still go to LCB. Uh, you can also uh, visit their virtual booth. Their booth is booth number five. Uh, thank you all. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Mr. Peters and uh, Chef. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.